Come on in. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. We sell t-shirts, skull caps, do-rags, grease, wave brushes, picks, combs. Well, St. Cloud has become very di diverse, so I think that we need to see more African-American um, Black-owned businesses open. The women here in the St. Cloud area have been having to drive to the city to get their products, which is an hour there and an hour back. So I just knew that this was something that was needed and just decided to go for it. Um, 10 and 12 inch track hair for weaving would probably be the item we sell the most of. These are, her name is, all the wigs have names. This is BB. She would be a short synthetic hairstyle wig. We have Cleo. She would be long, kind of like a Chinese bang cut. So this one's synthetic hair. This is one of the most popular selling wigs. This is a lace front wig. Her name is Tracy. Sista's Beauty Supply has a lot of different types of wigs, but this is the BB and it's one of the most popular. It's easy as one, two, three. We carry, carry stuff for everybody. And I, d I just wanted to say also, it's just not for ethnics. You know, I'm biracial, my mother's white, my father is black, so we have something for everybody here, but we just wanted to especially cater, though, to the ethnic community. And once I got a nice little lump sum together, I went looking for, you know, someone to lease me the space, and James Fogram of Pantown Associates was nice enough to believe in my, you know, what I, of my dream and my outlook and he leased me the space and right on the spot and the most rewarding part is when the customers come in and tell me they're happy that we're here and please don't go out of business you know, that just makes me feel good and know I did the right thing. Reporting from St. Cloud, Ramona Morosis, UTVS News, your news.